wanted to make a video uh, regarding the Google disabling or enabling the Google detection on these Sony TVs. Uh, this particular TV is Android 9.0, latest software version is on it. Uh, this is the X950G, uh, so it could be in any size range, 55, 65, 75, 85, but again, this model is the X950G. Uh, this is what the remote looks like, more silverish in color uh, for the television. But sometimes clients, when they get these TVs, they love the picture quality, but they'll say, hey, I don't want uh, to have Google enabled. I don't care about hitting the mic or having it listen to me. So how do I disable that? So here's what we're going to do in order to do that. Buttons I'm going to be using is this gear here for settings. These arrows up, down, left, or right. This is enter. Uh, the cross in between those. And that's the majority of the buttons, but... We'll hit the settings button first. So we're going to access settings. And in this case, we're going to go down to apps. Because we're looking in this case for the Google app. So I'm going to choose see all apps. These are the installed apps on the television. It's not going to be in the installed apps. So what we do is we arrow down to the bottom. And we're going to select show system apps. Uh, it's a system app in the TV, not, an issue, uh, not a regular app. So in the system apps, we're going to scroll all the way down to G for Google. There we go. I'm going to select that. And this is where we would select Disable. So I'm going to select Disable and say, okay, are you sure you want to disable this app? Okay. And there it's disabled. I'll hit back and I'm going to get out of here and go back to my TV settings. So now with this microphone on the remote, when I hit that microphone button, which I'm doing now, pushing it, nothing comes up on the TV. So I have, dis I have disabled Google altogether. Two ways to bring that back if you were wanting to enable it. We're going to go back to the same procedure, go back to our settings. Uh, go down to apps again, go to see all apps, and what we'll find here, you'll find a disabled apps area. Most of the time this will be here, but I have run across a few occasions where it's not. If this is here, perfect. You're going to just select Google, and you're going to go down here, and you're going to select enable. I'm not going to do that in this case uh, because I want to show you a couple other ways of doing it. Once in a while, you may not see that disabled apps. If that's the case, you could try doing show system apps. And we'll scroll down here again. And in system apps, you see it is not here in this particular case. But worst case scenario, if you do not see Google anywhere, in whether it's on under disabled apps or all apps for system apps. <clears throat> the way you would get to it, let me get out of this then. What we're going to do then is on our remote, there's this apps button right here. So that's what we're going to push when we're watching just normal TV. That brings up this, and we're going to want to do get more apps. It's already selected there initially, but if I arrow down, now I've selected Netflix, I arrow up, there's Get More Apps. That's where we want to go to. Oops, let me get back out of that. So this is initially the screen we'll come to most likely in the Google Play Store. That's where we're really at here is the Google Play Store for our television. We're going to go to Search. And in this search, you're going to have to do it the good old-fashioned way of typing Google in. But we'll just do that. G O O G. That's enough, really, but you could type it all in. It's going to be over to the right here, a few spots. There it is, the white app with the letter G. So here I would select Google, and you've got two options enable or uninstall. I mean, you could uninstall it if you want completely, but in this case, we're looking to enable it, so I'll select enable. Now the Google app is enabled, and now when I hit this microphone on our remote control, there we see our Google mic come up. Again, 
only way of hitting the reason, I should say, to hit the apps button on your remote and go into the Play Store is if you do not see it under the uh, systems apps um, or anywhere under the apps here in our menu. If I choose see all apps, if you do not see Google under here when you're doing that, then that would be a reason under system apps, that would be a reason to go into that Play Store. So that is the way to enable and disable our Google Voice Assistant on these XBR cell televisions from Sony. This is the X950G model with Android 9.0. If you have a different model, it's going to be different in how to do that. I don't exactly know how without sitting down at the TV or I'd suggest for you to call Sony. Um, again, because if your menu is different, it's going to be a different procedure to get there. Um, if your menu is different, I would say go to the Play Store, search for that Google app, and you should see it there and have maybe an enable or disable. But that's going to be the procedure for this Android 9.0 on the 950G model. Have a good one.